Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is a 2017 Victory High Ball, and uh, this is going to be the new one of the new steeds. Check it out. Sunset Nuclear Orange, six-speed overdrive, big old V-twin, oil and air-cooled. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time, and I finally picked one up. So today we're going to take this on a ride, get kind of my first impressions on it. This is uh, exactly kind of how I bought it. And yeah. Alrighty, we are on the road. So guys, this is, like I said, brand new bike. Um, well, it's not brand new, it's 2017, but brand new to me. This is everything that it came with. I haven't touched it. I just bought this a couple days back. Um, I've really only ridden it around maybe 10-15 miles and all I've done to this point is just kind of adjust some of the controls, the handlebars, uh, just some stuff to kind of make it fit me a little bit better so I'm comfortable on it. And yeah, this is a fuel injected 1800cc uh, 106 cubic inch V-twin. It is a big girl. So that is the, the first thing I need to get used to a little bit. This is definitely a bigger bike than the Magna, than the CB750 than um, kind of most bikes I've ridden. Now that being said, it's also not really th that big of a motorcycle, I don't feel like. Um, I mean, I've been on a couple of, you know, Harley street glides or road glides, whatever they're called. Kind of an assorted few motorcycles, Yamaha Raiders, things like that. And it honestly doesn't feel even as big as those bikes. It, it's pretty nimble on its feet. Um, I don't know if it's because of the front tire and how wide it is or what the reason is for it but but it is bigger than the Magna that's for sure that bike is pretty small or at least medium size I would say so yeah this is gonna be my first kind of newer bike that I've ever owned personally and I'm really excited about it so uh, the other thing is I cannot find literally pretty much anything as far as like install videos or any sort of kind of content on these bikes um, and I do plan on doing some stuff to this thing so It'll just be me kind of figuring it out, I guess. Like I said, there's not a lot of stuff out there. Um, and I don't know if it's because they're so easy to work on or because not a lot of people have them anymore. For those of you who don't know, Victory is not in business anymore, um, which is the brand of this bike. This is the last bike that they made, or at least the last year that they made a line of bikes. Um, this model and motor was actually in all of their bikes from like 2003 or something like that. Uh, or maybe maybe later, I don't know, 2007 maybe, all the way up to 2017, uh, and then they released a new motor in one model motorcycle, or two models, it was like the Octane, I think is what it was called, and then they, uh, they kind of got liquidated and bought out and became a part of Indian motorcycles now. So, I don't know if you would call this like a boutique brand or like a bougie brand or I'm not sure what you would refer to it as, but it's definitely a smaller company, uh, but they were around for a while. It's American made, assembled in America. I want to say it's like Idaho or Iowa or Ohio. I don't know, something like that. One of those kind of rural states. Um, but it's built, manufactured, designed, and assembled in uh, those states. And that's kind of where the company was. So Polaris owns them. And uh, I want to say Polaris owns Indian too. Or sold it to Indian. Something like that. But anyways, that being said, this is kind of a rare bike now. They don't make them anymore. Um, and especially this color. Specifically, they didn't make it a lot. They only made it in a couple of years and they only made it on the highball model. I want to say like 2015 they started making this color, so they only ran this color for two years. And this is like my all time favorite color. So, this is uh, exact color and model bike is what I've been looking for for a while. So, when I saw one, I had to go uh, see about picking it up. And as soon as I hopped on this thing and rode it, I, I knew it was, I had to get it. So, yeah. Welcome officially to the channel for this new bike and uh, lots of content and cool stuff to be coming on it and mods. I'm not going to go crazy with it right away. I, I like having a bike that's just runs and it's reliable and it's new. Um, there definitely will be some stuff to change on it and I'll do kind of a little walk around when I get to where I'm going once Mr. Cool Kid and his crossfire decides to get in front of me. All right, so pretty much the, one of the things I was most excited about uh, for this bike, other than the fact that it's new and it's fuel injected, well, is this right here. I, w 
wasn't very hard at all. And I'm not even in sixth gear. This thing is a mover. It is a highway bike. It is definitely good for road trips, longer uh, longer commutes, things like that. I don't even know what it, like, if I put it in sixth right now, I'm just chugging along at 85, like no issues at all. This thing is a torque monster. It's got like 115 foot-pounds of torque or something like that. So it does not have any problem scooching you down the highway. Um, but the real reason I wanted to get this bike, aside from it being really cool and stylistically what I liked, is it's new and it's reliable and it does anything, everything I want it to do. It's comfortable, it's got suspension, it's fuel injected, all the things that the Magna is not. Um, and really the reason is, if I have a bike that does that, I don't have to really mess with it. I can just kind of mod it tastefully here and there and have this be my reliable bike that I can, you know, go to California or go to Sedona or take road trips or rides or whatever. And then the Magna and the CB750 and whatever other projects I get, I can afford to have those bikes be down, you know, whether I'm pulling the motor out or, or cutting the frame up or doing some paint or whatever the case is. So that was kind of the reason behind this um, is I wanted something reliable that would start up every time that I didn't have to really modify that much that I would really, really enjoy. Um, I guess you could, it's more like a daily driver motorcycle, I guess. And then the other bikes can can be as taken apart as I want them to be and I can still get on this thing and uh, have a good time. So that being said, this bike will change, not drastically, but it will change pretty quick. So obviously this big windshield is super ugly. So that's coming off. Um, I wanted to, this is actually my first time on the highway with it. I did want to experiment with it a little bit just to see how comfortable it was. And where this is, it directly blows the wind right in the center of my visor on my helmet and shakes my helmet like a lot. So, so uh, I'm going to take the windshield off. I'm going to leave the rest of the bike kind of how it is and uh, maybe do some performance stuff. I do have exhaust coming for this bike already because the stock exhaust is just terrible. Um, it doesn't feel like the bike... I mean, it runs great, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't feel like it's what it needs to be. Like, there's not as much feedback as I want from the motorcycle, so opening up this exhaust I think will help a lot, and it'll sound awesome. So that actually uh, should be arriving here in a day or two, so look forward to an install video on that. The CB750 update on that, it is together, it is running. I did fix a couple of the issues. I did throw a set of new plugs in it, uh, some Iridium NGK spark plugs, and those definitely helped. Uh, help that thing run better and start better. So probably the next video you see will be a vlog on the CB750. I want to see how that thing rides. I haven't really taken it out uh, other than around the neighborhood. So that should be fun. But I'm real excited to uh, get that thing up and running now that it's now that it's nice out and it's winter time. So I'm gonna, you know, pull over here in a second, and I'm gonna do just a walk around real quick of the bike so you can see it, and then uh, I'm gonna end the video there. But I just wanted to get a quick first ride, first impressions on this thing. So far, it's, I mean, it feels great. Other than the, uh, the, the feeling that it wants to speed wobble on the freeway if if I help it. Um, and again, I don't know if that's because of the fairing or what, but I will be taking that off and giving the highway another try. Granted, I'm also going like 90, so that also could just be what happens. I don't know. If any of you guys have uh, a lot of highway experience on bikes doing like 85, 90 plus, that's not in a crotch rocket, let me know if your steering, uh, you know, feels the same way. Because on this street, like I'm going 45 right now, and if I give it a little back and forth, it doesn't feel speed. It feels mobile. It doesn't feel like speed wobbly though. But like I said, could be just lack of experience on my part. So. Uh, but anyways, thanks for tuning in guys. I'm gonna do a walk around here real quick and uh, we'll end it there. All right. Do a quick walk around here. So here it is again. It's, uh, I mean, it's not perfect for sure, but I like it a lot. Like I said, it came with some old guy stuff on it. This big old seat, saddle, bags. Um, stock exhaust, which again is terrible. And then of course this guy, which, it's just not my look, man. And uh, after riding it on the highway, unless my neck was like four inches shorter, I don't know. Luckily this thing is quick release, I think, yeah, so.
shouldn't be a big deal to so just pop that on and off and maybe I'll keep it I don't know but that's definitely coming off exhaust is getting changed those are the first two things real quick and then uh, that'll definitely change the way this thing looks and probably feels I think so there it is if you like victories and you want to see more content on this bike drop a like share it with somebody if you dig it otherwise you can expect to see this video here pretty soon and like I said it's uh I'm a little overdue to do a vlog on the CB750 now that it's up and running, so thanks guys. Peace.